Hey folks, how's it going, Dr. Spin? In my quest to find my favorite albums for 2021, I've been working through these weekly eliminations and then sharing them out with you and see what you think. So at the end of this video, there'll be clips up from each of these artists. Check them out on your own and then sign off below. See if I'm on the right track with the stuff. So today, I'm looking at Bo Burnham's Inside versus Cynic's Traced in Air. And I don't think that I could have a more um, pronounced genre clash than I could have between these two artists, you know. Um, Cynic's Traced in Air, a masterful, mammoth, insane recording, prog metal at its finest. You know, I'm very kind of picky about prog metal. I got into Dream Theater a while back and then kind of fizzled out back back in the day. So for this one to come forth and really like prove, prove that there's things that were said in prog metal that I missed along the way. Um, that's what this, this album is, is doing for me now. It's an incredible, incredible piece of, of, of work. Alongside Bo Burnham's Insider, which is like, I think one of the most important pieces of, of, of media <laughs> that's come out, certainly in the last year and in a while. I mean, again, if you watch this, this movie that's associated with this soundtrack, um, it's an honest commentary on what Bo Burnham thinks is going on in the world from his little corner of it. You know, he's sequestered himself away for a year and cranked out this amazing thing, this amazing video. So, um, and I ran into this problem last year because last year I had Cynic versus More Mother and I had this really um, hard time trying to figure out what to do with that because I felt like More Mother was as good at what she was doing on that album as Cynic was. It's like her version of, of, of rap and, and spoken word was as powerful as what Cynic was doing in the prog metal realm. I'm kind of in the same boat this year because this album changed the way that I viewed prog metal. Um, and I and I think that a lot of times I listen to prog metal stuff and, and try to find like, you know, what's the kick? What's the thing about this that makes it distinctive and different? So you didn't have to do that for me at all. It's its, it's own self-encapsulated um, history that goes into this album. And it's a mus amazing musical feat that this album exists. And, and in comparison to Bo Burnham, of course, which is one of the, again, very strong musically, especially for a guy who's like a piano player, songwriter. Um, but musically, it's not as uh, not as intricate as what we're talking about with Cynic. But it's intricate in the way that it's a commentary and it's satiric nature and it's confessional side, you know. So really had a hard time with this because I really do feel like both of these albums are exemplary in what they're doing. One argument you could say is that Bo Burnham's Inside really could only happen in 2021. Whereas Cynic's Trace to is kind of timeless. I mean, it's already got a couple decades under its belt and it's still, I think, something that there's there's something to this album that rises above the time frame in which it was released. So if you want the best of 2021, I mean, Bo Burnham is right there. But when I listen to these side by side, as much as I, I'm moved by Bo Burnham's work, I can't deny the, the incredible musicianship that went into Cynic's Trace to Nair. Um, also, there's one minor quibble, minor, minor thing. Bo Burnham's soundtrack here is for a movie. And part of the movie's thing is that it has these quick edits. So sometimes songs just end. Um, and that, I mean, it's something you get used to after you listen to it for a while, but you get the sense that Bo Burnham has a hard time ending things, you know, that the songs don't end in a way that's very clear. And even the, the, the special, when you watch, he's not quite sure how to end it. It really feels like this soundtrack could have ended like five times. There's like five conclusions to what he was trying to do. So a super minor quibble because in song for song, this is an amazing thing and has a lot of meaning for me over the course of 2021, but the raw musicianship and the, the brute force um, uh, intensity with which Cynic delivers it kind of edges it out just a little bit. So I'm gonna have to go with Trace Denaire for this one. So agree, disagree, please sound off down below, like, subscribe, and share this video out with your friends if you wanna know more coming out. And until I see you next time, catch on the flip side.